Here I'm going to create a piston like functionality where the base is going to go up and down in the uh, y axis and the uh, rod will be following the rotation of the uh, the wheel. Now uh, let's create a null first and give it a shape which is going to be a sphere and give it a color. Go to the basic tab and choose custom color. Uh, make it yellow and um, go into the front view and select the null move it up until it reaches the end of the rod now go into the perspective view again and make the null a child of the wheel and select the wheel and add keyframes to animate the wheel uh, let's add a keyframe on RB at frame 0 and then at frame 60 let's do a 300 and 60 degrees so the wheel is gonna rotate now let's go into the um, dope sheet and select the rotation make the keyframes uh, linear so it doesn't accelerate and decelerate and in the after uh, track use the uh, offset repeat so that the wheel is gonna uh, infinitely rotate without any stop if we give ourselves more frame let's do 200 you'll see that the wheel is going to rotate I want the um, base to follow the Y position of the uh, of the null so I'll right click on the base and go to rigging constraint I'll give it a transform constraint which is a constraint on the position rotation on uh, scale so I just I don't want to uh, I just want to constrain the position not the rotation or scale so I'll uncheck uh, rotation and I don't want to constrain the x-axis and the z-axis just the y-axis now if I uh, put the null as a target of the uh, constraint it will immediately the base will immediately jump to the position of the null I don't want that I wanted to keep its original position but follow uh, nonetheless so now I'll just go to the offset tab and check maintain original and if you play the animation you'll see that the base is moving with the uh, uh, rotation of the null now I'll make the rod a child of the base so it follows the movement but you'll see that it's uh, not uh, aiming at the null so to to make it aim at the null I have to add another constraint which is uh, right click go to rigging and constraint use the aim constraint so if you select the rod you'll see that the y uh, axis is positive y axis is to the top I want the negative y axis to aim at the null now let's go back to the constraint and change the axis to negative y now if you uh, add the null you'll see that the um, rod is aiming at the um, null. If you've played the animation you'll see that the uh, piston functionality is working properly as expected.